Hello. In this video, I want to show you how to use my Perception plugin to assess the true impact of the mastering processing you're using on your music in the real world by comparing your songs with reference songs by your favourite artists and bands. If you'd like a more general introduction to Perception, there's another video that shows you how the plugin works and how to get started. In that video I was working in Wavelab, in this case I'm going to work in Logic 9, but the same ideas and procedures will work in Logic 10, Pro Tools, Cubase, any digital audio workstation. So here I've got the song Behold by Joe Gilder that I used in the introduction video with the same mastering processing as before, but here on a channel strip in the mixer. And then I've imported a bunch of reference tracks and first of all I'm going to disable perception and see how each of these songs measure on the Lcast loudness meter. So here's the end of Behold by Joe. And here's the first reference song um, I've chosen. It's a fairly random choice, uh, Yellow by Coldplay. Then we have another Coldplay song from several years later. And finally, a song from the new CD. And you can hear and see that there's quite big level differences between those songs, which are going to make it tough to make a fair comparison between the way that they sound. And also might make you think initially, well, perhaps I should have mastered Behold by Joe louder to be, quotes, competitive with those other songs. The thing is, in the real world, nobody listens to those songs in that way. Radio, TV, computer playback, MP3 players, and even people just listening to CDs all adjust the volume control to balance out the levels of the music they listen to. The number one source of complaints from anybody listening to music anywhere is if the volume jumps up and down all over the place. So really, the level on the CD doesn't mean very much. And that's where perception comes in. And if you've used perception or watched the introductory video, you'll know that, as one person summed it up, it's basically a one-click reality check for your music. I already have a perception source instance here at the beginning of the mastering processing chain for Behold, and I'm going to drop a perception instance onto the channel where Yellow is playing back as well. And the great thing about perception is it will balance the levels of any audio that goes through it, whether or not you've got any extra processing on it. So if I enable the controller module here, and play a section of yellow. You can see there that the balance button has ungrade, and I can now click. And the playback level of yellow drops. Even though there's no extra processing, we're just listening to the raw audio, the perception controller is still measuring the loudness and adjusting it to the reference level. You can choose your own reference level in the options pane. Here the default is minus 16 LUFS, which we found is a good starting point when you're mastering. And I can do the same thing for every teardrop 
is a waterfall, just insert the perception source module onto the track where the audio is playing. Just listens to the music coming in and measures it. Play it back. And after a few seconds, the balance button will become activated. We click it. And the playback level is adjusted to that minus 16 LUFS reference. And I've already done the same thing for Sky Full of Stars and Behold. So now we can play back each of these reference tracks and listen to how the sound compares with the playback levels balanced. So you can hear and see there that the playback levels are now much more closely matched. And even a difference of as little as half a dB can make a significant difference to the way we perceive the sound of a song. So now that the levels are matched, we can make really accurate comparisons between the different songs in terms of the sound. We can hear that much more dense loudness war kind of hyped sound of the later songs. And we can hear that even though we might have thought, well, maybe Joe's track was mastered a bit quietly in comparison to the others, when the loudness is matched, it stands up really well. And of course, in the real world, that's how people are going to listen to it. People adjust the volume control when they're listening themselves. Radio, TV, MP3 players, computer players all match the replay volumes, the loudness that we hear the songs for the best listening experience. And getting that perspective on these songs is as easy as dropping a perception source instance onto each track, playing a few seconds of audio and clicking balance. And of course, if you're interested to hear how a song sounds with a bit more of that compressed sound, you can use the adjust parameter in the controller and the snapshots to do instant comparisons with the reference tracks in the way that I showed you in the introductory video. And if I just use one last example, a more extreme example, this is uh, from the Red Hot Chili Peppers last album, just so that you can see and hear the difference. You can see how much more compressed this song is than the master for Joe's. and really make objective decisions about how you want your song to sound. And in case you were wondering why I have the songs laid out in this staggered arrangement in the door, rather than stacked up together for instant comparisons, it's because Perception is designed to automatically detect which song is playing and apply the correct balance and snapshot settings to it. And in some doors, that can cause problems if there are multiple sources playing. So, in fact, you'll get an information message if that happens. And the solution is simply to separate the songs on the timeline. So there you go. I hope you found that interesting. Just to recap, Perception will level balance any audio that has a source instance active, even if there's no processing. And you can use that to quickly loudness match your chosen reference songs and use them to do comparisons with the music that you're mastering 
and that enables you to really hear clearly the sonic differences between them and choose the best possible settings for your music without being confused by the loudness deception. There's lots more information about mastering, the loudness wars, and recording and mixing music in general on my website, productionadvice.co.uk, and you can find out more about the Perception plugin at perceptionplugin.com. My name's Ian Shepherd. Thanks very much for listening.